Well, actually, I don't work. I'm a naturopathic medical student. He sits back, creaks his chair, and just goes, why are you a naturopathic doctor? You don't make any money. If you're like me, I was taken aback by that, and I wasn't ready to come up with a response. These are certain questions we get as naturopathic students and naturopathic physicians. I'm sure you've come across them. And these are what I like to call loaded questions of our field. Loaded in the sense that they're loaded like a gun, ready to fire off discreditation for our field, devaluement of yourself, and just disrespect for others. And we have to be careful of these. So some other questions you might have come across are maybe, why aren't you a real doctor? Why aren't naturopaths licensed in all 50 states? Why aren't there residencies for naturopaths? What do naturopaths say about vaccines? Are they good or bad? What's the best diet? And my old time favorite, do you just prescribe weed? Anyone else have come up across these questions or anything I'm missing? No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, these questions, if, if they formed a lump in your throat, if you start to dig your heel into the ground or my most dramatic response, you wanna stab someone, <laughs> this means you're not prepared to answer these questions and you should be. So three ways that I think you need to be prepared is, number one, you need to be mentally and emotionally prepared for these questions. They're gonna come at you. And 100% of the time, you are a naturopath, naturopathic medical student and you represent our field. So you could come across these questions anywhere, like at a wedding. And you shouldn't fear these questions either. You should embrace them. It's a moment for you to educate someone that doesn't know anything about your field. Number two, know the answer to them. So important, right? Now, if you're like me, you're thinking about these questions. They don't have a rosy, picturesque answer sometimes, right? They're not always easy to answer. But it's important to realize when people ask you these questions, they're asking for your opinion, they're asking for your experience. They're not asking for all the facts and figures. So answer honestly. It's important that you answer honestly because you don't know where these people come from. You don't know people's backgrounds. So if you're caught lying, that just decredits you immediately and nobody wants that. And lastly, Give a positive outlook on the future. It's okay that those answers aren't so great, but you entered this field, not because to make a ton of money, but you entered for your passion. And would you enter this field if you didn't see a growing potential in it? Absolutely not. So convey that. Be proud of the fact that you've entered this field wanting to make a difference in healthcare. That's inspiring, that's honorable. So be proud of that and people will respect it. So going back to that wedding, when that man asked me, naturopaths don't make any money, why do you wanna do that? I unfortunately was not prepared. I kind of brushed it off and said, well, I think I'll make plenty of money. Wasn't the best answer. If I could do it over again using these three steps, I would have said, well, actually, I've seen naturopaths make 40,000, I've seen naturopaths make half a million. And the reason our average is off is because we're small, first of all, and second of all, a lot of naturopaths work half time. And the other half, of time, uh, other half of the time, they're doing community work, they're doing research, they're teaching, they're doing all of these other things to promote our, our profession. And so for me, I think I'm gonna make absolutely plenty of money. And I see for the future that the minimum a naturopath will make is $100,000. So you see what I did there. I answered his question. I was ready, sir, sorry, first of all, I was ready for his question. Second of all, I had a very good answer to the question. And third of all, I gave a positive outlook on the future. So this very large man sitting back, creaking in his chair could think, hmm, Oh, okay, maybe I don't know it all, and none of us rarely do, right? So if you use these three steps, you will never be caught off guard, and you will always remain 
a beacon of inspiration for your field. Thank you. Mm -hmm.